video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can take the stipulism effect and save it as a graphic style. Now, first thing to do, just go to Pass here and just go to Effect and Stipulism and Stipple. Once you've actually done that, it comes up with a little uh, dialogue and there's all various settings. So, say you decide I want density to be 30. Set the preview on so you can see the effect and maybe sample code and you've got the effect there or maybe just go for the color maybe go for red green or whatever change the roundness etc or maybe you have different size maybe go for 10. now once you've actually done that click ok and what you see you've got over here you've got the appearance palette so appearance palette you've got the stipple over here now at this point you can actually just go over to graphic styles and new graphic style just click that and give that stipple one click ok and there you can see it. unfortunately it doesn't actually look much it's got two dots versus obviously got lots of dots there anyway so maybe you should more descriptive uh, now what you can do then you can actually just go over here again stipple bring it up again and maybe make say 70 so preview again unfortunately it's not sticky wish it would be but it's not sticky and you maybe go for size 20 and so on and so on there's a whole range of things maybe you decide that you want to change the color you don't have that color click ok right so you got that and then you can just go over here and again it's a graphic style you can say appearance you've got there appearance and new graphic style stipple two now, of course, over here, you can actually just go there and duplicate item. So you can actually quickly duplicate that stipple effect. Now, you might not want to actually apply it there. It doesn't actually end up with a very good result. So maybe, perhaps, have select there. Just select that one and duplicate that. So you get two. And then move, drag, to select that stipple there. Just drag that into that fill. Right, so you've got the stipple effect there. Now, just move that up to there so you can actually see the effect. So you've got that effect, but of course, you've got the stipple there, but you can also just go down to this fill and just add another stipple effect to that. So just select that and just go to effect and stipple, preview, and now just set the sample object and you can see you get a very unusual color effect at that point click OK now once you've done that you can of course you've got it stipple in there you can see that stipple in that one as well you can of course save that as a graphic style so just go there new graphic style click OK right so just remove that and then of course Come along a couple of months later, you say, I want this wonderful effect, and I'm not going to go for that one. I'm just going to say, set that to red, and I just click there, and there you have it. Straight away, you've got that instant effect using two stipples and those gradients all added into a graphic style, which of course you can save to an AI file for future use. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.